between the uh, black student and the white student and the black student and the administration and the black people in the community and in this area uh, and the those of the university here and I'm hoping that we will be able to create a better understanding and that we'll be able to work toward the realization of some of the goals that have been set up uh, or envisioned by the university administration and especially Dr. Parks. We just can't justify it, and I think that there isn't a PTA going that doesn't want to raise the teacher's salaries. I, that's what, as I say, the sympathies of the PTA are just always with the teacher, where it isn't jurisdictional disputes that uh, are the issue. Uh, this is one of the great crimes. We spend all of our time paying lip service to the value of education. I never go to any meeting where they don't end by saying, but we must ha have a, an educational program on this subject. So we all respect it, we say, and yet when we get to appropriating money from the public funds, we give billions of dollars to highways, maybe 10 times as much as we ever give to the schools. We pay engineers and other scientists any amount of money, but teachers, the people who we say who are the most important people in our society, we don't hesitate to um, deprive of the real distinction, which is a return for what they give to our children. I think that for another thing that uh, we have our educational uh, pyramid upside down. The most important years in a person's life, as far as his education goes, are the first years, not the university years and graduate school years. But we unhesitatingly in the, our government just pours billions of dollars into graduate school, laboratories, and all that kind of thing when we really wouldn't even need any of those things if the children had been well taught when they were in uh, primary grades and even before they went to school because their attitudes towards their education and towards their world in general is irrevo are irrevocably set by the time they're in the second or third grade. The most important people in the educational pyramid are those that are the foundation of, the, of it and those are the ones in the primary schools. They're the ones who are deprived as far as recognition, status, and salary. It's crazy. Really, I don't see, if we will speak first of the local scene, I don't see any real problems that is uh, problems that we won't be able to resolve on the uh, local scene. Uh, I've met uh, with black students. I met with the uh, uh, BSO, Black Student Organization, last summer. And uh, I feel that uh, it will be possible to work with them and resolve some of their problems. And I hope to work as a liaison person uh, between the uh, administration, the faculty, and the student body as a whole, and black students and black people in this community toward uh, creating a better understanding and resolving some of the problems uh, which we have uh, facing us. Now, on the national scene, I think that we have really had the uh, greatest difficult we've experienced the greatest difficulties I think we're going downhill now uh, for a long period of time there uh, few people 
uh, in general, and especially on white campus and the white community, seem to know how to meet these problems of black people and uh, black students. But I think a great deal of money, a great deal of time and effort had been spent toward uh, uh, understanding these problems, studying the situation, and uh, I feel that we're beginning to get some answers now. And we're beginning to find resource uh, people in the community and persons who uh, understand uh, the problems of black people and the problems of our nation, the problems of this age. And I think that we actually, as I said before, are d going downhill now. Which is a and good sign. Yes, it is a very good sign. Thank you. In the area of athletics, Doctor, is it your opinion, as we have heard and read in some places, that the black student, because of his fantastic athletic prowess in some instances, is being exploited? Well, I don't know whether or not I would use uh, a term quite as drastic as that, as uh, has been used in one of the national magazines, some of its articles. But uh, I feel that perhaps not enough attention has been given to uh, the black athlete. Uh, perhaps uh, in as much as many of them come from disadvantaged areas and disadvantaged homes and many of them uh, have had need for special help in academic uh, areas, I believe not enough attention has been uh, paid, to the black, paid to the black athlete. And I'm certain that in the future, more attention is going to be paid uh, to not only the black athlete, but all disadvantaged uh, students and all students who need aid in school. And of course, a number of schools today, a number of colleges and universities are employing counselors for black students and for black athletes, and as well as employing uh, black uh, faculty members who perhaps can relate a little more closely to uh, the black student and understand his problem a little better. And I think that'll be quite helpful to all of us.
the surplus at the end of this current fiscal year or June 30th, 1969 will be approximately $5 million. Uh, this is uh, made up of uh, our estimate at the, uh, for the end of, uh, end of June 30th of 3.3 million uh, as of June 30th, 1969. And uh, also uh, for the three month period ended September 30th or the first three months of this year, we're about a million six hundred thousand over our estimates. These two figures together come out to a surplus of approximately five million dollars at the end of this biennium. This is somewhat less than was originally projected, uh, but in uh, percentage of uh, deviation from the original estimate, it's something just a little over two percent deviation. Uh, most of the reason for the reduction is uh, reduction in taxes collected. Uh, basically in the sales and income tax. Uh, and this has been uh, a problem to us uh, because of the lag in the uh, enforcement uh, of the uh, new uh, tax structure. Uh, compliance factor has been a problem to us. Uh, some of the items are held up in court. And then there was a uh, downward trend in farm income during the last year which affected both the sales and income tax.